Welcome back to Creepy Kitty Creations. Sorry it's been a bit long between videos, but I've got a pretty cool one for you today. A while ago there was a video up on Jackie O's channel where she made a cute little lamb and someone commented about really liking her idea of an angsty lamb called Agnes. So that's what I'm going to be making today. So f this, you might recognize this from my other video. This is a little doll that I got off AliExpress. Um, just a cheap little thing. Um, and I thought that she would make an adorable little lamb. So first we're going to cuddle off all of her hair. Um, and just so you know, I did ask Jackie O first whether she, um, it would be all right if I make this doll since it was commented on her channel. And... Um, she said that was fine she was really nice about it and so um, I hope you like it as much as I liked making her once all of her hairs out I had trouble pulling out the rest of her hair so I'm gonna make an incision along here with my exacto blade so that I can pull out the rest of the hair plugs but also get to her inset eyes I was really really pleased to see that there wasn't any glue in her head so these were easy enough to just pull out and I'm just going to finish pulling out the last of those hair and push out her eye there's a wee vinyl backing at the back of the eye so I'll need to cut that out later but I already have these lovely blue glass eyes that I originally bought for Violet Evergarden but I just think she'd be perfect for this doll. <laughs> Scary. Um, that's better. So I cut out the back of the vinyl so that I could check and see that the eyes were the right size. Um, I wasn't quite game enough to squish them in. But that came out really well. Now I originally tried to make it so that her head closed with magnets. And it went horribly wrong. I got super glue all over her face and it wouldn't come off. The magnets didn't even work or close properly so that was an epic fail so I didn't show most of that but um yeah you'll see that we shiny line on her head and that's from the super glue so I'm hoping her hair will cover that up so I made the wig cap the same way I always do and same with the yarn wefts and just stuck them on piece by piece so her story is that she is a black sheep a black lamb but I like the idea that she started off being really self-conscious because all the other sh sheep were white sheep and she thought that she didn't fit in so she would bleach her hair white to try and fit in with the other sheep but then she got more as she got more confident in herself she started to let her natural hair color grow out and embrace her awesomeness so that was the inspiration for her hair is um, growing out bleached hair and I've always I, I just pictured it right from the get-go as a cute little bob so I'm just trimming the hair and doing a bit of an undercut layer by layer at the back and then I I'm just thinning out the ends but I'll do the most thinning on the black at the top of her head so that it looks more like regrowth and it wanted to stick up like crazy so I actually wet it and then used glad wrap to make it lay flat and kept it like that overnight so while I waited for that I went ahead and did the body mods because lambs have that sort of arched legs at the back so I wanted to make those modifications as well like with my child of nature doll so that's looking good and to keep on to keep it light I used hot glue as the base a trick I learnt from watching Etalyn's videos, if you haven't seen her channel do check it out, it is amazing. Um, and it also cuts down on the cost of Milliput which can be on the expensive side compared to hot glue. I did the same for her ears just to give me a base, um, but in hindsight I do kind of wish that I just sculpted her ears with polymer clay 
and just stuck them on. Because <laughs> if you've been with this channel for a while, you'll know that sculpting is not my favourite pastime. <laughs> um, especially mixing them together, it's, it's pretty hard on the joints, but um, yeah, I do a lot of it considering I don't like it though, which, um, don't ask me why. <laughs> So I made her these cute little hooves as well and I was actually running low on Milliput and I wanted to test some new air dry clay that I got so I sculpted her ears using air dry clay. It was interesting, um, I probably wouldn't do it again for anything that needs to be quite seamless because it did crack a little bit but I wasn't too worried because I knew that I'd be covering her ears with flocking it took a few tries to get the right shape they aren't quite the right shape here so I do I, I did end up ripping them off and redoing them for them to look like this So now I'm going to paint her legs black and her ears because this is all going to get covered in flocking later as well. Um, I would normally do wefts but I wanted her to look quite woolly so it was a little bit of an experiment as well. And now for the fun part, the face up. Um, I've not done a face up on a doll like this before the, um, the closest would be the haunted nun doll when I did the inset eyes but this doll's quite a lot smaller uh, although her head's big so it was quite interesting and you can probably see that there's orange marks left from her original factory paint it didn't actually all come off when I used acetone on her face it left it left marks it was like stained into the vinyl which was really annoying um, but I'm hoping that I can cover it up so first I'm going in with my watercolor pencils in a peach tone to do the waterline I wanted to extend it a bit lower because I wanted to give her these really cute big big eyes I must say I do quite enjoy doing the inset eyes because you don't have to worry about getting them symmetrical in size you just need to worry about getting the makeup symmetrical so in that way it's a lot easier than a traditional face up now because Agnes is going to be an angsty lamb um, in a punk goth style I wanted to do something a little different with her eyeliner and make it quite edgy I've seen some really cool looks on Instagram that um, I took inspiration from several different looks so I wanted her eyes fully outlined in black but I've seen some cool ones where they do a wing at the top but instead of going all the way up they do like a wee little flick like an extra wing along the waterline um, so I went up too far here which is why I'm erasing it um, but I always thought that those sorts of geometric eyeliners look really cool, so I wanted to give that a try. And once again, the eyebrows were the bane of my existence. I think I erased them about seven times. Your kneaded eraser is your best friend. <laughs> I'm just testing to see how it looks by putting the eye in. Ah, 
I actually quite enjoy doing the little eyebrow hairs. The Faber-Castell pencils are quite hard so they're very good for getting fine lines. And brightening up the inner corner by using some white pan pastel which I'll go over with some white Perlex powder. You know me, I think it just looks so cute. So I, I do this on all my dolls, but I wanted to exaggerate it more for Agnes. For the goth look, I did want to make her eyeshadow primarily black, but I wanted it to sort of fade out to an, a sort of copper orange. Um, I saw someone do a look like this and it just looked so cute and um, stood out a bit more than just plain black. So I'm going to build this up over several layers of pastel and Mr. Super Clear. So much blending. <laughs> You can see a bit clearer now where that uh, super glue got spilt because it's dried bright white over on that right side of her face. And the pastel just does not want to cling to it so I'm glad it's getting covered up by her fringe. And another test with her eye. It's looking pretty cute. And some white Perlex powder. I wanted to give her a black lipstick but I thought that her with her eye makeup being predominantly black it might be a bit too overpowering so I decided to do a more of a plum lip but then I also remembered that I need the inside of her ears to be white so I quickly went over that with some pan pastel and give her some cute little blushy cheeks I didn't want to go too pink because I thought it would take away from the edgy look so I sort of did more of a purple plum colour for her cheeks. This particular face sculpt is really cute, I like the way her cheeks sort of puff out but she's got like little cherub cheeks.
going in with some brown pastels and doing a little bit of contouring. You can probably see there are a few black marks on her torso. I don't know how they happened, but after I took her face off with acetone and did the first coat of Mr. Super Clear, she had these black marks all over her body and I could not get rid of them. So I just had to continue the blushing and try and cover them up as best I could. I went over all of her joints with red pastel because I think it looks so cute. You can probably see a few places on her booty where her um, the paints come off. I originally gave her a tail um, after I'd done all the body modifications, so it just fell straight off. So um, I don't she she wasn't meant to have a tail. <laughs> and back to the lips with some dark red pastel. Her lip mold was a wee bit tricky because she's actually sort of biting down on her bottom lip as if she's going to cry, which I thought didn't really suit her angsty look, so I just gave her a normal looking lipstick just to try and cover that mold and it worked surprisingly well. It's always quite nerve-wracking when you're trying something new. <laughs> and adding some black pastel to add some depth. I really like the sort of smudgy black eyeliner look on a lot of goth and punk eyeliners so I went in with some a smaller paintbrush and some black pastel to try and get that smudgy look. Um, I've tried it with pencil before and I always seem to get a really super clean line and it doesn't look smudgy at all so I thought I'd try it with pastel this time. a little bit better still not quite as much as I would like but now I'm going in with a wet paintbrush and I dab it onto my watercolor pencil and then it goes kind of like paint and this just gives me a much more opaque color so I'm doing this I'm going to do this for most of the eyeliner and all of the waterline and the catch lights of course in white So I go in with the peach like I did with the watercolour pencil but I also go in with a darker red in a few places to try and make it look a bit more 3D.
and then with some highlights. And going in with some wet black watercolour pencil just to darken up the eyeliner because it's sort of gotten lost in the layers of black pastel. Every time I do a face up I before I get to the wet watercolour stage, I always think, this looks good, maybe I, I, could, I should just leave it the way it is, just with the dry watercolour pencil, and then I go ahead and do the wet watercolour pencil, I'm like, nope, it needed this <laughs> every time. Does anyone else hold their breath when they're doing tiny thin lines like this, just to like as if it will help make the lines thinner Sorry, the camera keeps focusing on my thumbnail. And at this stage I realized I forgot to paint her ears black, so <laughs> I'm doing that now. Better late than never, right? And even though she's going to be wearing a wig cap, I really wanted it to look really neat and tidy, so I actually painted her scalp black as well. And I coated it with matte varnish, and I coated her hooves with gloss varnish and glossed her waterline and lips. So this is how they look after two layers fully dried. And now for the fun part, I made some flocking out of some yarn 
and we'll see how this goes because I'm kind of worried that it's just going to scrape off all of her joints but um, we'll see. <laughs> so first I'm doing the white flocking on her ears. I'm not too bothered if it doesn't go opaque there because her ears are cream coloured so it, if anything it will look a bit more realistic. Now I'm just using, I couldn't find my Elmer's glue so I'm actually using fabric glue for this and um, just putting as a generous amount of flocking on her legs and her booty. I did, I did this in stages so I did her Basically, I, I did her butt and her leg, the bottom of her legs, left her thighs and then did those after the others had fully dried. So this is how it looks. Um, it's still got some of the excess on it, so I'm going to have to brush that off. But she looks so fluffy and woolly. Um, there are some places that got missed and I can't bend her legs too often because you can see the knee joint. But overall, I'm pleased. Um, I did her eyelashes off camera because I was having a very off day and I was getting glue everywhere. <laughs> um, but now it's time to put her eyes in, which I do with just your standard blue tack. I don't like to do anything too permanent in case the eyelashes fall off or there's something that I need to fix. I like having the option to go in and take the eyes out. So I'm just wrapping a wee little sausage of blue tack around the eyeball. It's surprisingly hard with glass um, compared to resin. They, it didn't want to stick very well, so this was actually very tricky. So I used a lot of blue tack and um, my modeling tool to try and squish it right in. And that worked relatively well. Um, and I'm using blue tack to close her head as well because I want to be able to get back in there. And as we established earlier, the magnets went horribly wrong. <laughs> so this is her finished wig. All nice and flat. So we'll put that on her now, see how it looks. Oh, her little fluffy ears stick out just the right amount, I think. Um, I'm quite pleased. This is my first time doing a hairstyle quite this short, except on my mini-me, but that was much curlier so I could get away with a multitude of sins. I whipped up a saddle stand for her quickly off camera. So this is how she's looking now. But something's missing. Oh she needs some clothes. Let's make her some clothes. So this is the jumper that came with the doll and I thought I wanted to make her some cute little bloomers or knickerbockers out of this green lace. I thought that could look really cute. So I, I made it and it was too short and then it just looked really ugly. So I ended up just taking some lace and gathering it and attaching it to the top. I was going to do an underskirt but it was really poofy just like this so I quite liked it. I took a little bell and some yellow ribbon and made her attached a little collar to it as well. Because of her story about wanting to be a white sheep at first and, and bleaching her hair, I wanted to give her two outfits, her white sheep outfit and her black sheep outfit. So this is her white sheep outfit. And because she's a lamb, she needs a fluffy jumper. So I'm making her a wee little vest out of this fluffy faux fur. So this is how her white sheep outfit is looking. Excuse her wig cap and um, face. I, I made her outfit first actually. I made this cute little dress out of black lace and when I went to make the video I found out that I'd actually lost all the footage of that so I'm sorry I couldn't show you how I made it. But I wanted to make her a little leather jacket so I stitched those together. And one of the comments on Jackie O's channel was quite cute um, about the angsty little lamb being part of a band. Um, I think she called it Agnes and the Lamb Choppers. 
but um, I, I mistakenly thought that it was Agnes and the Mutton Chops, so I've put this on the back of her jacket as the name of her band. I painted it on first with some green paint just to give me a guideline with the glue and I used Elmer's glue and these little beads and I glued them all on and then did a coat of paint of glue over top to make sure they stayed on. <laughs> I wanted it to look like studs, um, but leather's very, very thick and I just, I can't physically stitch them on, so I went for glue this time. And this is how she looks in her white lamb outfit. I think it looks really cute. I was going to make her, her a little beret to go with it, but I didn't quite have the oomph. So now we'll put her in her black sheep outfit. I was quite happy with how this turned out. The vest is a little bit oversized, but I think that's quite cute. So this is her rock band outfit. <laughs> What do you think? I think she looks super cute. I'm really happy with how she came out. I hope you like her too. And like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, I'm hopefully having a series coming up very soon. So be excited for that. Bye.